Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. It's Sunday 10 a.m. and time for a brand new I Wrote Your Teens video. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Yo guys, apologies uh, for the echo. Basically, I am at home right now, uh, my parents' house, looking after their house whilst they're on holiday. So for the next sort of 12-ish days, you will see the different background and hear the different audio. It shouldn't be too bad now. I think I might have fixed it, but apologies for that. Hope you enjoy the episode. Smash a like if you do. You guys know this series and how it works. And then a HD screenshot with a brief description of your team using the hashtag at Tabor, and you can be on the episode. We upload every Sunday at 10 a.m. and every Wednesday at 4 p.m. So without further ado, I think we jump straight into it. And the first team income from Sam, he's got 200,000 coins. Morales, Carlos, Kante, and the bench are untradeable. He plays a 43 one in game. Happy New Year. Hey, Happy New Year to you, bud. All right, so check it out. So it's how you start. Pretty, some pretty solid plays. I love the player moments design. I think we're going to get more during Team of the Year, which is dope, and I'm excited for that. Uh, but very, very nice indeed. Um, okay, so 4 2 3 1. What to do with this team? You said he had 100,000, 200,000 coins. So Zoka's, obviously, Zoka's untradeable. I would sw swap out Ramos for Varane, personally. I mean, obviously, it keeps you off chemistry, so you've got to figure out how you're going to get him on chem. That's a good point, actually. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't actually clock that before. Um, maybe swapping out Longley for Varane instead. I like the back line. I just think that Varane's a better centre-back than both of these players. And I think you can bring in Varane uh, quite easily. Um, whichever one you prefer, whichever one you uh, you want, I guess you could bring in Varane for one of them. Um, I think Ver uh, Longley is definitely the better shout here because he gets the uh, the orange link as opposed to the green link. But no, that's a, that's a solid team. Okay, so I'm, I'm actually doing this live on Twitch for once. So uh, link in the description to my Twitch account. It's Haber if you guys want to check me out. Uh, they all spam me to refresh because I forgot to refresh before uh, checking out. So we're going to go on to Tom's. He says, uh, I have Schweinsteiger now and have 40 to 50k for improvements. Good luck in 2020 and hello Twitch. Hey, Tom knows. Okay, so this is how you start. And obviously, uh, uh, you, you've got to swap everyone to get the, uh, the right position to be on full chemistry and whatnot. I don't know about playing Schweinsteiger off chem. I don't know if there's any point doing the SBC and playing him off chem, to be honest, mate. I don't think that it, that Schweinsteiger looks amazing. If we look at Schweiny, uh, I, I don't know how many coins you actually have. I'm guessing he's like, he's what? I just typed in, I, I actually just typed in Schweinsteiger, uh, Schweiny instead of Schweinsteiger. Uh, so this SBC, okay, it's not going to show me uh, how much it was, but it was about 40k. I wouldn't recommend it because if you want to compare this card to like, I don't know, a Goretzka, for the price... Bearing in mind this Goretzka card is, in fact, tradable as well. You actually get more in-game stats with Goretzka than you do with Schweinsteiger. Um, you get, what, like 15 more in-game stats, 16 more in-game stats. You get more pace, a little bit less dribbling, which isn't really relevant on CDMs. You do get less physical and less uh, defending. But realistically, there isn't a huge difference between these cards. And I'd probably personally go with Goretzka. And it, allows you to play, uh, it allows you to play Lewandowski up top as well. I'm also not entirely sure about this right-hand side. I'm guessing you pack this card on tradable, this Mendy. Um, I would personally look into getting Trent Alexander-Arnold there. He will still get full chemistry with uh, with with Longley. Um, I think that's the best way you get Salah on chemistry as well. Apart from that, I, I see what you do with the team though. I do respect it. Just a lot of plays off chemistry. I'm not I'm not a big fan of that. A lot of plays off chemistry. Uh, next one coming from Alex, who says, uh, "This is my team. I have 350k uh, upgrades." I have 350k four upgrades. Men need to stay in our tradable. I play 4-3-1-2 in game, and I'm uh, I'm getting Hernandez from Icon Swaps. Thanks. Okay. Um, what do you need Hernandez from Icon Swaps? So realistically, I mean, looking at it, bro, like you have a fantastic striker in Werner. You have a phenomenal player in Red Neymar, which is unreal, by the way, as well as, well as Red uh, Red Walker. There's some really really good red look there. I don't know if you realistically need um, Hernandez to be honest with your team. I would say you're better off probably uh, probably strengthening strengthening either the back line or the wingers. Um, and the only way I see fit, really, maybe is Zambrotta. Of course, it's completely up to you, personal preference. I mean, you could go with someone like Essien as well instead of Kante, get full chemistry, or Vieira. Um, realistically, though, I don't know if Hernandez is the best opportunity. I don't know. If obviously, if you really want Hernandez, it's completely on you. But uh, I would say possibly looking to get in either one of the one of the top tier CDMs or maybe Zambrotta. Going forward, it would help you with uh, more versatility in the squad as well, being able to interchange people and stuff like that. But mate, the team is really nice, and uh, I think you already know that. Obviously, very solid team. Next one coming from uh, Chasm, who says, "Can you rate my team, please? What can I change for up to two hundred fifty thousand coins?" 
I'm not sure about Baby Hullet, mate. I'm really not. I hope that is tradable, but I'm guessing it's probably untradable uh, via, you know, a base icon pack. I personally am not a big fan of Baby Hullet, though. I just think his stamina is not great. Three-star skill moves isn't great. Uh, overall, his stats just aren't fantastic. If we actually have a look at Hullet's stats, um, you know, ultimately it is Hullet, and Hullet is Hullet, but... He doesn't have great stats. I know my face scan's already blocking it. 78 stamina isn't fantastic. Um, 76 finishing is not great going forward. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's got pretty much all 80s in almost everywhere. But, like, there's a lot better players you can get if you did buy this card for 780k. But I'm guessing it is untradeable. Uh, from Icon Swaps, I do recommend that you look towards maybe getting a Zambrotto over Nelson Semedo. Um, you could also alternatively go with one of the strikers of the Griezmann. I'm, I've never been a big fan of Griezmann personally, but uh, it's completely up to you. I see you've got Martial as well. You are so lucky. I wish I had that Martial. I would, yeah, I'd possibly just look to upgrade your Hullet. For up to 250k, there's, there is a bunch of center mid you could put there. You could even put Modric there, to be honest. Um, or you could just go with icons up to get someone like maybe Socrates or Seydorf. But uh, aside from that, I think the team is solid, and I'm, I'm jealous of that red Martial. I wish I got Red Martial. You probably couldn't see it. My face cam was probably blocking it, but he's got a Red Martial on the bench, which is ridiculous. Next one coming from Alfie, who says, Tradable plays are Salah to Stegen, Bernard, and Pogba. I have 10,000 coins spared. Ten okay. Any any upgrades would be great. Also, keep the great content. Love you, vids. I hope you can uh, help me. Bench is also untradable. All right. You have 10,000 coins. Don't I, I can't really bring out much here. I, I, can't, really, I can't really bring out much here with 10,000 coins. What I would personally look to do... If I were you with 10k, is look to improve play players based on icon swaps, maybe. Um, Skulls, I think, is a bit of a weak link in your team. Uh, realistically, you're playing a 4-2-3-1 Skulls at CDM. I'm not a big fan of, realistically. Um, let me have a, actually have a look at Skulls' stats, the 89, real quick. And just, yeah, mate, like 64 defending. Uh, he's got great stamina. 70 strength isn't great. Uh, fantastic passing, obviously, as well. I would say try and get Baby Blanc from Icon Swaps for that for that position. That'll also allow you uh, to keep that Icon link and, and get some French links in there as well. Um, and then just save up towards getting Kante over Ducore, in my opinion. Um, I'd also, in fact, you're playing Pogba as a cam, right? No, no, no. Pogba's not a cam, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, you've got Mbappe. You've got to think about the French link there. I mean, if you were to get Blanc, you can move Mbappe to right cam, and then you can get any French player up top. Maybe you get the likes of a, a striker Martial where you can save up enough for him and then uh, play him as Cam. That could be an option. I see you've got Red Maguire. You guys can't see it again because I'm blocking it. But Red Maguire on the bench. I'm very jealous. Uh, the next one's coming from Dab Dab who says, got 300k to spend. De Gea, PK, Benzema are untradeable. I use the same formation in game. Really? You use... Okay, fair enough. I have rarely, if ever, played against anyone that's used the 4-5-1 in game. If you do use a 4-5-1 in game, let me know down below how you play with it and if you enjoy it. I hate it and the reason i hate it is because you often find that the wingers play as cams and the cams play as wingers and i don't understand how it works but it does and it confuses me um that team is nice though i think first of all personal gripe i'd say is get rid of ramos for uh for here from icon swaps six tokens really easy to grind out those six tokens you can do them in literally a day or two and you can sell ramos then and bring in a free uh icon center back free being being operative i mean more free of of, of coins not not free of time uh, I'd also look to possibly upgrade Benzema as a cam. I think he might be a bit weak. I would wait though. I think we would get some cool SBCs joining team of the year. So I would hold on to making upgrades for now, apart from Ramos, because I think we will get some really cool SBCs joining team of the year. And that goes for most people. If you're looking to upgrade, especially an attacker or a midfielder, wait until we see the SBCs we get joining team of the year. It could lower prices, but it also could have a player that works perfectly in your team. You don't want to go and buy someone, lose a load of coins and not be able to do the SBC. So sitting on liquid coins isn't the worst idea in the world for that sort of stuff. I'd say uh, he's definitely pretty solid. Uh, moving down now we've got sam's team my team is a bit of a mess right now i've got 100k coins long lay is my only tradable player ouch i have a ton of spc plays on my account uh two but i don't use thank you hey keep up the good work lad well i let me just say i've been in your position before i have been in this exact same position before where you've done too many spcs you don't really have liquid coins and you have one tradable player in your entire team i have been there mate i have 100 been there now what would i do with this team First of all, I see you've got Ryan Kent on the bench and you're playing David Villa completely off chemistry. He's on like five chemistry as a centre mid uh, without a strong link. What I would say, honestly, is start that Ryan Ryan Kent over here. He's going to get seven chemistry or eight chemistry if you make him a left mid with a manager. Um, 
That's way better than a five chem uh, Davivir, in my opinion. And you can bring on Davivir and get more chemistry bringing him on. Um, and then obviously you're going to get uh, Ryan Kent over here at left striker with a five-star weak foot. It's actually not the worst in the world uh, in terms of, of who you can play. I'd also probably start... I, I would, I'd start the uh, the right mid, the Algerian right mid instead of uh, Mares as well. Because, I mean, Mares is good, don't get me wrong. But you get the strong with the towel with the uh, with the uh, Algerian guy. And uh, I think you could probably use that, to be honest. I've just realized, by the way, Ryan Kent gets a strong link with Gerard. Chat just chat just reminded me that I, I plebbed out. Yeah, Ryan Kent gets a strong link with Gerard. So, in fact, he's going to be on full chemistry. That's definitely an amazing option, in my opinion. Bring on Ryan Kent and start him instead of David Villa. Yo, GG's chat. Chat just reminded me. I respect. That's why we should do these more live more often. I also, I think he's a big no-no playing De Gea off chem. I'd go and buy to Stegen straight away, mate. Stegen's fantastic. Um, and if you're going to keep uh, Mares, just buy Walker. Honestly, like, Walker's great. Walker is still a fantastic right back this year. I just buy Walker. Just buy Walker. Play him, get him, get him the strong link there, in my opinion. Um, and then, obviously, in-game, you're playing uh, pretty much everything the exact same. Just Ryan Kent, striker, and then Walker, right back, pretty much. But, uh, but no, that's, that's a really nice team. I've definitely been there before. Trust me, just, just don't, don't panic do SBCs. I have done that so much. Just don't panic do SBCs, and you'll be good. Uh, anyway, next team coming from MG212121. 4 for 2 in game, Oblak uh, and SBC is untradeable. I have no coins at the minute, but I can also save. Also getting Blonk in swaps. Okay. Next time, guys, trust me, just t t get a second screenshot and just send me the uh, send me what you play in game as well. Um, okay, so you play a 4 for 2. I'm guessing you play De Jong. Okay, you play Dembele and, and Perisic wide, De Jong and Taliso, and then uh, Ben Yedda and Benzema up top. Personally, not a big fan of Benzema. Um, in terms of who you can use, though, you could use any French. From the, I mean, you could use Griezmann, but I'm personally not a big fan of Griezmann either. Um, how many how many tokens is Blanc? Let me actually have a quick look at this. How many tokens? By the way, if you guys ever want to look at tokens and you're not on your PC, this is the easiest way to do it. Sorry, you're not your console. So Blanc is 14. Who can you get for 10 tokens? You can get Raul. I'll tell you what, actually. I'll tell you what. This card as a, as a striker partnered with Ben Yedder won't be horrendous. He's got fantastic in-game stats in terms of 4-star, four 4-star, four 89 agility, 90 balance, uh, 88 finishing, 88 composure. If you can grind it and get the extra 10 tokens here, I would say go with Raul as striker. Um, yeah, I would go with Raul as striker and then I'd go with uh, with Ben Yedder up there with him in my opinion. I think that's uh, that'd be a solid option for you, to be honest. Um, it's just if you can bring yourself to do the extra grinding. Uh, that's all it's... it's alternatively if i could speak slower alternatively if you don't want to grind for it i totally understand but I, that's personally what i would do uh anyway moving on next uh we've got ricardo's 150k untradeable is a long lay to lisa and keeper okay uh let's have a look at it so uh hang on why that why why on earth why on earth are you playing this i i get that he's an untradeable but why on earth are you starting that keeper i my brain hurts massively what I would do here, personally, is just get a keeper that at least strong links to your... your no, you don't even need to. Just get, get to Stegen, mate. If you're going to keep uh, Diego Carlos off chemistry, just get to Stegen at goal, in goal. To Stegen would work perfectly. Um, and honestly, with everything else, I wouldn't do. I wouldn't change the team. That team is built really well. I respect the way you've built it. You've got great CDMs there, uh, a great back line, and a fantastic attack. I would just say probably just Lewandowski up top and Perisic at camp. I think Perisic is more suited to camp position and Lewandowski up top, in my opinion. Um, but no, I, I would say just get to Stegen in goal. I see chat saying get Neto, but Neto won't perfect link to Diego Carlos. It's completely irrelevant if he doesn't get a goalkeeper that perfect links to Diego Carlos, because... Diego Carlos is still going to be on seven chemistry whether you get Neto or not. One strong link doesn't make a difference to two red links. So I would say just get to Stegen because he's the better goalkeeper. Um, and then, and then you know, in the future, you could also get any sort of Barcelona centre-back if, if one arises from an SBC, that would help you out as well. And you get him on full chemistry. So I'd go with that, to be honest. Uh, next is from Oroborn. I forgot to mention Untradables, uh, the bench and Mahrez, Palatano and Schmeichel. This is my team at the minute. I have like 20k to spend. I have most likely your opinion on the team. Okay, you just want my opinion on the team. I think the team is built well. Um, I mean, it's interesting, isn't it? 
Obviously, you've got a great left footer over here in Politano that cuts in. You've got Mares, who's a great cam. Not entirely sure about Guerrero, personally. Um, Gamero's good, though. Guerrero and Gamero, wow. Um, I don't know about Decore, but, I mean, Decore could be great for you. I mean, Kante is also an option that you can save up towards. The back line solid, apart from Florenzi, I'm not entirely sure. We do have uh, Zambrotta in icon swaps. If you can grind your icon swaps, mate, Zambrotta will get the strong link to Politano. Perfect for you. Um, and then the left, the left side's pretty solid as well. I respect it. It's a, it's a nice team, mate. I do like the team. I like uh, when when you see teams, for example, you know someone's not spent any money on the game. They've just grinded from the bottom up, and I really respect it. I really respect the grind. Uh, so I rate it highly, mate. I really do. Next team coming from Finley. Uh, let's check how long I've been recording for as well. Um, the next one coming from Finley. Hi, Haber. My only tradable players are Messi, Perez, and Semedo. I also have 180k spare. I'm working towards getting Raul and Hiera from Icon Swaps. I'm also wanting to get either Son or a flashback piss check back into the team. Any suggestions? Wow. Okay. All right. Wait. So only tradable players are Messi, Perez, and Semedo. Okay. I mean, mate, that's a nice team, isn't it? That's a very nice team. What would I do with this team, though? I see you're trying to get piss check back into the team. I wouldn't bother, personally. Um, I don't see the point in, in, in trying to change everything up just to get a piss check in the team. I think that Nelson Tomato is 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 good enough. That Red Mbappe is, is disgusting. GG on that. I'm not entirely sure about Perez, though. I just don't know about Perez. As a left centre mid, I'm not entirely sure. Now, how many coins did you say you had? 180k spare, and how much is Perez? Perez sells for... Uh, I'm guessing 300? 120k! Wow, I didn't realize how cheap icons were. Or, or 137 on Xbox. So you're gonna have, um, you're gonna have what, like, like 300k ish. I would go with someone like I tell you who's actually genuinely really good. I'm not even joking with you guys. Someone that is actually fantastic is Nakata at, at center mid. Going forward, any version of Nakata is fantastic. You could even probably stretch towards the prime version. He's got decent defensive stats. His physicals aren't horrendous. He usually has pretty good stamina. Like 84 stamina, 70 strength is pretty good. He's pretty quick. Uh, he's got good agility and balance. His shooting isn't amazing, but it's not horrendous. Can be improved with the chem style. Uh, 90 composure. This card's actually really good as a centre mid. I use this card. And I really enjoyed him. So I would say if you're looking for an icon centre mid, that obviously you start here, gets links to everyone. Uh, you don't need the strong link to Mbappe, so you can go with this icon. I would say go with, with Nakata. Alternatively, you know, you could save up, get someone like Sadorf or something like that. But I personally really enjoyed Nakata. He's a good budget icon. He really is. Um... Next one coming from uh, Andreas, who says, Have 200k coins. Everyone but Marnie, Cancelo, and Stegen isn't tradable. Also planning on opening 12k thief points on Team of the Year packs. Good luck. Hopefully you get something good. Uh, what would you advise to do in the near future? Getting Raul from Icon Swaps. Keep up the Legend streams. Hey, thank you very much, man. I mean, Raul's only 10 tokens, so you could get an extra... You could get you could go for the extra 14. Obviously, you know, it's, it's easier said than done, but you could go for them and get yourself someone better uh, as well as Raul. What I would say to go for with this, though, I would say you you honestly, in my opinion, could heavily benefit from getting that Blanc that's 14 tokens, and that's all 24 tokens from Icon Swaps. I think you could really... Uh, I think you could really benefit from replacing uh, that Wijnaldum with, with Blanc. Now, obviously, you're going to get some coins into the club via the 12k thief points. If I was to go on averages, I typically make about 150k-ish, roughly, from, from uh, a 12k thief point set. If I get something good, usually it's more than that. And uh, if you haven't spent much thief points this year, which I'm gathering you haven't, because you say it as, uh, as you haven't, I would guess you'd probably make yourself maybe like... 170 to 250k from 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 12k thief points if you if you get pretty lucky obviously you could get shafted and, and that ultimately is a, a possibility but let's say you have about 250k to work with um i would personally say the best thing you could do really with that many coins would be possibly just upgrading this this side here now i know Batagli looks amazing in game but i ultimately think balassi would let the squad down I don't think Balassi looks great. You could go with someone a bit better. You could go, for example, get yourself maybe an icon from England, uh, whether you go with the likes of maybe a Gerard variant or something like that, and you can get Ryan Kent over there at left wing. Uh, alternatively, you could go with with the likes of a Kante and just get any Premier League left wing. You could then keep Mane, put Mane left wing when you get uh, your Raul in there. Um, I know Bataglia is fantastic. I just, I'm not the biggest fan of him personally. I'm just not. Um, it's just like, he's great. I'm just not a fan of, of changing your team drastically, trying to fit in loads of different League of NOS players 
to, to get him into the team. Does that make sense? Like, I'm a big fan of the card and the card plays great. I'm just not a big fan of, of having to force him into the squad in that, in that sort of way. Uh, anyway, the next one coming from Daniel and then Jack will be the last one of the episode. Um, whole team is tradable and the bench is untradable except the, uh, De Jong. I play a 4 2 in game, have 80k to spend. All right, let's check it out. So you start in this uh, and then you move on. So anyone, like, so you've got Sizoko off chemistry to start with. Just Sizoko though. You're playing Dinye? You're playing Dinye? Dinye, really? I get you need the, the, the link over here, but Dinye, really? I would say, first of all, get yourself informed Ben Mendy at left back. He gives you a strong link to Sane, and you also get the orange link that you don't need, but you could ultimately use um, if you ever try to change up your team. Now, I think you're playing Suzuko at Cam is absolutely bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Not, I don't understand why you played Suzuko at Cam personally. What I would say is get rid of Suzuko at Cam. In fact, get rid of Modric, mate. Keep Suzuko, get rid of Modric and bring in... Uh, you could go with an Iago Aspas, you could go with a Rodrigo, uh, you could go with an Inaki Williams. Until we get more SBCs that have Spanish players, I'd say go with like an Inaki Williams or something like that. Um, and, uh, and and just sort of build on that, to be honest. Um, and the last uh, team for this episode is going to be from Jack, who says, Hi, hey, but all SBCs are untradeable, as well as Butcher. Got 150k to spend, getting Coleman and, Do uh, and the Doctor, uh, Socrates, for those of you that don't know, uh, from Swaps. I respect it. What is going on over here, then? What is going on with Milner? What's going on? With, what, mate, the dynamic images are so bugged. What happened? What happened? Hey. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Uh, so let's check it out. So um, you've got 150k and you're getting Coman and, and the Doc from, from swaps. All right. I respect that. I don't know about Laporte now. I used to actually uh, hate on Laporte. And then I started using him and raved about him a little bit more. Uh, but as time goes on, as we get more OP players into the game, Laporte is becoming more deteriorated every single time, and uh, he's becoming less and less uh, able against the top tier players. I would say save up and try and get yourself a, a Van Dyke. Now, obviously, that's going to take a little while because uh, if we look at Van Dyke's price right now, he doesn't really drop that much. He's down to like 390k. Like that's the lowest he's been in ages. He just typically doesn't drop because it's Van Dyke and he's got such an aura about him. Alternatively, I think for uh, for the same sort of price or even cheaper, you could go and buy yourself baby Hierro as opposed to get, getting one from Icon Swaps. You could go and buy one. He's down to 295. Um, I would say just try and replace that Laporte with a stronger centre back. Apart from that, I think your team's really nice. And obviously, with the additions of uh, of Icon Swaps, it's going to be just as good, if not better. Um, and I respect that you're using Juan Mata. I love Juan. Juan's fantastic, bro. Anyway, thank you all for watching this episode. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for the epic support. And make sure you check me out on Twitch, all right? I stream every single day. So please check me out on there. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.